Ferrari is one team that we're expecting a lot of in 2023, and it seems like they finally listened to us, the casual fans, and converted their car into an engineering masterpiece. The 2023 version of the car has just been revealed, and it looks amazing. What doesn't look amazing, however, is the driver's situation in Ferrari and the statements coming from the FIA. But Ferrari looks more determined than ever to overcome every single obstacle and finally beat Red Bull to it. So, without further ado, let's see what the Maranello team has prepared for us. If there's one word that we can use to describe Ferrari's 2022 season, it would likely be disappointment. They started off amazingly well, but for some reason, they started to fall off after the third race. Aside from the reliability issues, they managed to embarrass themselves race after race with questionable calls and driver errors, such as Leclerc's in France, which was followed by the loudest scream ever heard from an F1 driver. In the second half of the season, however, it seems like Ferrari understood what went wrong, and they decided to build upon their failures and come back even stronger in 2023. That's why they halted development on the 2022 car, which nearly cost them second place in the Constructors' Championship, given how quickly Mercedes caught up to them. But now, the focus is fully on 2023, the season the Ferrari is supposed to nail with its design and innovation. So, what's new on the SF23? Apart from the name, which is totally out of hand and has no connection whatsoever with the previous one, Ferrari introduced some changes to the bodywork. The majority of the changes were mandated by new regulatory changes, one of which saw the diffuser throat raised by 10 millimeters and the floor section raised by 15. The Maranello team was definitely the one that managed to porpoise and score good results, but it seems like most of them weren't as good as Red Bulls, leading them to satisfy with P2. One of the biggest changes that we're going to see on the 2023 calendar is the volume, as the side pods have experienced a massive volume shed in order to battle the porpoising issue. The sides have been lowered, meaning that there is now a step between their vertical section and the floor side, which is a new thing and something that has been presented on the car reveal as well. Yes. It's definitely something that comes with the very nature of things, because if we can say one thing in which Ferrari underperformed the most, that has to be the inability to completely disrupt the internal packaging of the cooling system. On the contrary, Ferrari would coincide with a different placement of the deformable structures that are located on the sides of the cockpit. With this solution, the team can now focus on another department of their car, which is the lower section of the sides of the cockpit. The fuel tank area will witness a lot of changes, mostly because the car now needs a precise connection only at the pickup points of the engine. This will then go on to present a total evolution of internal mechanics, which are then going to be involved in the makeover of the gearbox. And keep in mind that this is a team that struggled a lot with engine reliability. Remember Baku 2022, when both cars had to retire due to hydraulics issues and blown exhaust? Something that is definitely painful for every F1 driver out there. But now, it seems like Ferrari is finally away from these issues, and one guy that they need to thank in particular is Mattia Bonotto. While he was axed, Bonotto had worked hard on the 2023 engine, which Steiner believes will be the bomb. Sure, Vasseur has ditched all of the claims, saying that there isn't anything like the 30 horsepower more in the engine. But the car has been put in the simulator, and the results that came from there are truly wonderful. The SF23 is reportedly one second faster than its predecessor, and in an era where Red Bull reported lower numbers, with the RB19 being 0.5 to 1 second slower than the RB18, this is a huge step forward for Ferrari. Now that this is very close to happening in real life, there is one issue that Ferrari is going to face, and that's the preference of the drivers. Prior to his arrival at Ferrari, Vasseur stated that every successful team in the sport's history has had designated number one and number two driver, implying that if Ferrari were to win a championship, they would need to make a difficult decision on who would be the team's number one driver. Many have suspected that this role would automatically go to Leclerc, given the rich history between these two and the close relationship that Jean Tot, Leclerc's manager, has with Frederic Vasseur. But the most recent statement out of Vasseur is that it will give equal chances to both of the drivers, and the fact that he said that Leclerc's contract is currently not the priority of the team just goes on to show that Leclerc could indeed be sacked from Ferrari sooner rather than later. His contract expires in 2024, and now it's more than certain that Vasseur will use the 2023 season as the prime test for Leclerc. More precisely, whether he'll be able to put himself out there as a legitimate champion or fold under the pressure. If we've learned anything from 2022, is that Leclerc folds under the pressure and Ferrari isn't able to build a championship-winning car that lasts throughout the whole season. 
but the team is willing to grow and learn from its mistakes. And one of the biggest improvements that has been made for the 2023 season is the boost of the TJI, or the Turbulent Jet Injection System, which serves to obtain maximum filling of the combustion chambers and effective propagation of the flame front inside. What has been more than certain is that Ferrari's fiercest rivals, Red Bull, have paid close attention to the improvements made by the Maranello team. And that is why Horner believes that the reliability issues that have been fixed in a massive manner at Ferrari are more than enough for Red Bull to feel threatened at the front. Keep in mind that the RB18 was the most dominant car to ever hit the grid in 2022, and possibly one of the most competitive cars in the history of the sport. And while Horner loves playing the underdog and the victim in situations like this, he isn't far from the truth. Ferrari has worked hard on improving the reliability of their power unit, and with all the engine manufacturers permitted to make alterations to the power units in the name of reliability, the prancing horse seems to have made the biggest leap in this manner. Horner was asked about the extra 30 horsepower, a claim that he has been quickly denied by Ferrari. But the Brit wouldn't be surprised if this turns out to be the truth for the Marilolo team. When talking about this matter, he said, the engines are homologated, so theoretically, there shouldn't be a big horsepower gain. And also, the fuel is homologated, so any reports of new fuels shouldn't be permitted. But of course, Ferrari had some reliability issues last year, so if they managed to address that, and through that been able to turn up their power, inevitably, they will see some form of progress now. We saw them turn down their power after their failures last year, so we know they have the ability with their engine to turn it up more. What goes in this narrative is that Ferrari's pace dropped severely after the first half of the season, and that came at the risk of them almost losing second place in the Constructors' Championship. Nonetheless, they managed to pull it off, and now all eyes are set on the SF23, the challenger that's supposed to provide a very close battle between Sainz and Leclerc and give Verstappen a run for his money. The president of the FIA, Ben Mohamed Salehm, believes that it's only a matter of time until Ferrari wins a championship, and this is definitely something that every F1 fan fantasizes about. Ferrari hasn't won anything since Kimi Raikkonen in 2007, and with Vettel coming close in 2015 and 2018, the team has been able to sniff the championship at its best. However, the controversial president of the sport believes that the time is now for the Tifosi, and when commenting about Ferrari and their close future, Ben Salehm added, even if all teams have the same engine and the same team boss, only one team can win at the end. Whether they have the right ingredients, no one knows except Ferrari itself. But winning races and winning championships is not something new for Ferrari. It's only a matter of time until they win again. When Ferrari won, they had a lot of diversity. But it's not about whether Italians are better than French or Germans. It's about finding the right person. Ferrari definitely has two drivers that can win the championship when they are provided with the proper car. Sainz has proven to be a very independent driver, one that can make his own decisions and alter the outcome of the race by himself. Leclerc, on the other hand, has manifested great speed and talent in 2022, and that is a perfect combination for a team if you want to win a championship any time in the near future. Now, it's not their fault that they have to go against the generational talent of Verstappen, but as we've seen in 2021, everything is possible. What do you think about Ferrari and their hopes for the 2023 championship? More importantly, what do you think about their 2023 challenger? Will they finally become world champion in 2023? Or are they going to become world champion for having the worst strategy two times in a row? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one.